On September 6, 2017, the strongest storm in Atlantic history hit the island of St. John and the USBI and the BBIs. And, uh, walking around town, everybody was dumbfounded and shocked at the destruction here and what was lost. You know, infrastructures were completely obliterated. There were toys hanging in trees and life jackets hanging on, you know, power lines and, and light posts on the street. There were power lines down everywhere, cars flipped upside down. It was a lot for your eyes to take in and the island as a whole all suffered a huge loss. You know, as far as materialistic things go, psychologically, emotionally, we all had a very, very difficult time and are still having quite a struggle with what happened with Hurricane Irma. It was the most life-changing event for so many. Um, there were boats washed up on the beach in Cruz Bay. You know, the dinghy dock is missing. There were power lines and trees and debris in places they should never have been. And some places still have all that debris and destruction there. And it's a constant reminder daily of what we went through a year ago. of Irma's anniversary just passed and approaching that anniversary I started getting very anxious and stressed out as many others did and I couldn't just sit around and sit in my own stress and get lost in my own mind with all the horrible memories so what I normally do in times like that is go to my camera and try to exhaust my energy and my passion into that tool. So my idea came about one night after I looked at the radar uh, on NOAA's Facebook page and saw all the storms coming off of Africa. And it triggered something in me to where I lost it, you know? I, I got emotional and had a little panic attack and didn't want to relive Irma all over again. So I came up with the idea that we all needed to heal in some way. And not that it was gonna be the answer for everyone, but I wanted to invite people down to the beach in front of my camera to either hold an object that survived the storm that meant the world to them, because I've heard so many stories of what everyone lost, but everybody had something to hold on to that meant the world to them in some way or another. And I also invited people to write a message that they learned about themselves or a hard memory that they will never forget about Irma on a sign. So I provided the paper and the Sharpies and named a date and a time and a place in front of high tide on the beach and invited people to come down. Whether everyone down here that experienced Irma really wants to talk about it or say it out loud or even admit it to themselves, but I don't see how anyone who experienced that storm doesn't have a little bit of PTSD after the fact. I could just have made coffee in the morning and step outside and hear a helicopter flying over to the clinic here on St. John, and that will take me back to the days after Irma. I could drive past the lumber yard or anything that's still completely destroyed and you're taken back to those days after the storm. Shaking and singing, how do you do? They really say, I, I love you. I hear babies cry and I watch them go. They'll learn much more. What a wonderful world. world Someday I wish I 
crush upon a star Wake up with the clouds all far behind Me will travel melts like a lemon drops High above the chimney top as well One of the most awesome moments I remember is asking a local resident what she was grateful for. And she had to sit there and really think about it. And she looked at me and she said, there's so many things. And that's when I smiled. And that's when I knew that this project was actually doing something. Dream that you did too. Why, oh why can't I?